To thee we come, O Lord our God. for your penance for the next three nights besides offering your morning and evening prayers I ask that you take one of the three readings as prescribed by the church on this solemnity of the Word of God to reread to ask the Holy Spirit that you might be enlightened to understand the depth of the spiritual truth and now I ask that you please recite with me the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Amen. may the almighty and merciful lord grant us pardon absolution and remission of our sins Amen. may our lord jesus christ absolve you and with his authority Vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us pray, take our sins away from us, Lord so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Indeed, the Word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. O Lord, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be the Lord of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have entrusted us with the riches of faith to be used to expand your kingdom on earth. May we spend our days wisely investing these spiritual gifts for the increase of your kingdom on earth. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Let us pray. O God, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant the soul of our departed sister, Linda Medlitsky, forgiveness of her sins. May our devout prayers obtain for her the pardon promised by our Savior. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. And Vincent, will you please proclaim the word? Jeremiah the prophet. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. And then I said, Ah, Lord God, behold, I don't know how to speak, for I'm only a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I'm only a youth. For to all to whom I send you, shall go, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Don't be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, See, I put my words in your mouth. This is the word of the Lord. But the word of God dwell in you richly. reading from the letter of Paul to the Hebrews. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Before him no creature is hidden, but all are open and laid bare to the eyes of whom, with whom we have to do, with the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have, for we have not a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Vincent. Yeah. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. All the paths of the Lord are kind. 
kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for testimony, to bear witness to the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness to the light, the true light that enlightens every man who is coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. John bore witness to him and cried, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, for he was before me. And from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only Son who is in the bosom of the Father. He has made him known. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Yet venture for Philonius Christus. 
Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is he who is sent greater than he who sent him. These words are taken from the Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. These words are taken from the beginning of the Gospel of St. John. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen to you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today in the Polish National Catholic Church, our churches have set aside this Sunday as the solemnity of the Word of God. Do you know that whenever we celebrate Holy Mass in the traditional rite, that the last part of our liturgy is known as the last gospel? It is taken from the Gospel of John. the last account of Jesus. And in the reading of the beginning of the Gospel of John, we all celebrate and the Word was made flesh. It is at this time that we are all called upon to genuflect or kneel for a moment to consider the importance of this scripture. In the liturgical year of the church, in our Polish National Catholic Church, we observe on the 2nd of January the most holy name of Jesus. Every week when I celebrate Holy Mass, it is usually on Saturday that I use the Mass propers for this solemnity. In the entrance rite, taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, we read that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Do you know that every time that we recite the Nicene Creed, whether it be on Sundays or solemnities or special feast days, we recite the following. He, Jesus, came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. It is at this time that all in attendance are called upon to genuflect or kneel to consider the significance of this profession of faith. I use the quote in the beginning of 
this sermon, a quote taken from St. John, in which Jesus says, Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is he who is sent greater than the one who sent him. As in today, as we gather in the upper room, it is where we meet in communion our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know, we are so busy in our schedules. We find ourselves shopping, doing things around the house, but the question is asked, how much time do you actually give and reflecting upon the teachings of our Lord. As disciples of the Lord, we are called upon to know his word. Sadly, we have seen in our world so many that have ignored the wisdom of the word and are not familiar with the teachings of our Lord. It is sad that not many even own a Bible and ignore the call to worship when the word is heard and preached. Our first bishop Francisca Coder, established in the beginning of the church, the Word of God is a sacrament, which carries the same importance as the sacraments of baptism and the Holy Eucharist. Our Polish National Catholic Church has set aside this Sunday to reflect upon the importance of the Word of God and that each parish calls upon its people to know the Word, to live by the Word, and to use the Word of God as a template of how God intends us to be. You know, as his disciples, we are given from the source the transparency of God through his son Jesus. I'm reminded at the Last Supper when Jesus has some final words prior to his passion. And one of his disciples, Philip, says, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. And Jesus said, Have I been with you all this time, and yet you do not know me? For, who have, for whosoever has seen the Father, should say whoever has seen me has seen the Father and Jesus talks of a oneness and for us to know in our life God is to look at the teachings of love and compassion of our blessed Lord prior to the offering of the canon of the Mass, which for us is the most 
important, the central theme in which the consecration of the bread and wine take place. We have what is known as a preface. And I'd like to share with you as I conclude this morning the words that will be said or sung on this Word of God Sunday. May we take these words to our hearts. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We are fed through your holy scriptures, your word, through which we grow and mature as followers of Christ. Your holy and sacred word nourishes and strengthens us to follow and to fulfill the commands of Jesus. As disciples of Christ, may we share your word to enlighten your path, the way for others to follow. And so therefore we join this day with the voices of angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, as we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised now and forevermore, Amen. Nyek bencha pafalani Jesus Christus.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our end of the devil's soul Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, grant that this holy offering an expression of your activity through the incarnation of your word, Jesus Christ, may regenerate us in spirit and awaken us to a new life in you. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, Look with favor upon the gifts which we offer you on behalf of the soul of our faithful departed sister. Grant that our sister may obtain life everlasting and eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We are fed through your holy scriptures, your word, through which we grow and mature as followers of Christ. Your holy and sacred word nourishes and strengthens us to fo follow and fulfill the commandments of Jesus. As disciples of Christ, may we share your word to enlighten your path, the way for others to follow. And so therefore on this solemnity, we join with the voices of angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and light, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the Apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. <coughs> and all of you present whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer, or who offer up to you, the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow 
their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. The day before suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries and which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, Again, giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty of your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants, especially this day, for our sister Linda, who has gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To all souls, O Lord, and all who rest in Christ, Grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merit and eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us 
all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, uh, and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day. Supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation. Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master, awaken in us living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. We will take the bread of heaven, and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen.
what shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord with high praise while I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord. We see the body of the blood.
I saw the heavens open, and there was a white horse. Its rider was called Faithful and True. He judges and wages war and righteousness. His eyes were like a fiery flame, and on his head were many diadems. He had a name inscribed that no one knows except himself. He wore a cloak that had been dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of God. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty Father, as we have heard the word of God and have received the body and blood of your Son, may we be strengthened in spirit and become more zealous in your holy church as we follow the voice of your incarnate word, Jesus Christ. May we continue to build your kingdom here on earth. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Accept, O Holy Lord, our fervent prayers for the repose of the soul of our dear sister, and grant that through this sacrifice that our sister Linda's soul may be cleansed from human transgressions and attain everlasting life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit in our one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Sacrifice is offered. Praise be to God. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity, and grant that the sacrifice which I, the unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy, may it be effective for ourselves and all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. 